There have been many a times where I've made bridges that would be considered unrealistic, whatever the hell that means. You see, in real life, bridges do not barely support the vehicles at the breaking point of stress. No, real life bridges have a lot more of leeway as far as stress goes. So we're gonna attempt to make bridges that replicate that. We're gonna try to beat as many levels as possible under budget and under 40% stress. So making realistic bridges in the process. So let's hop into this going level by level. We got the 10 meter simple bridge, everyone's favorite level. The first thing I wanna try is a dangling road. Um, I should probably turn on stress visibility. But it seems like the stress does get pretty high up as it moves, so I don't think this is going to be even close. Uh, I was just curious. I don't plan on spending very long on that. Glad we got that out of our system. I'm glad that dangling roads will never be helpful. So I want to try the most simple bridge you can make in this game. Just a simple truss on top. How does that do? I have actually checked this out before, but 25% stress starting means that we're going to see like 47% stress once the car gets in the middle. So that's not automatic. Oh, 49% stress. So that means if we want to beat this, we have got to start reinforcing in ways that uh, we hadn't before. So ways like maybe having a brace on the side that brings it down to 24%. But honestly, that's not that big a difference. So I feel like these are almost not worth it. What I want to try is either more triangles on top like this to truss the trusses or... Oh, I didn't see over 40% stress. There we go. So now we have our first realistic bridge. Under 40% stress, a truss for the trusses. So let's continue, shall we? Next one, we definitely can't do a dangling road. That being said, this one's gonna be way harder because now we have a heavier vehicle that I think goes faster as well. So this is gonna be much more of a process. Just more triangles. Well, it we're over 40% stress near the beginning and we hit, oh, we should see. We hit like 70% stress. So. Yeah, we're not even close. And it looked like it was all the triangles. How bad did the roads get? The end roads actually got a little bit stressed, so I think I will go ahead and make the end ones reinforced. I think we need to bring back the trust trust, but look at our budget. I want to get this under budget, so this is going to be a sketch. Let me maybe try to have these be regular roads just to see what happens. 27% is a better number, but no, it still gets up very high. So I feel like we're going to need to do some other methods, even though that looks cleaner. It seems like it feels cleaner. Like the sides just get very, very stressed. So the first thing I actually want to try is a wood muscle. Wood muscles, as I've seen described by real engineers, are a way to divert one wood stress into two. It's basically just twice the strength, two woods propping up this one point. Now that we're probably going to need a bit more than that because it really didn't change much fundamentally. Ah, uh, you know what? No, it took down a few percent points, which is actually progress I don't hate. So we want to have probably more of those muscles kind of going on. And this is gonna be difficult now that we don't have steel, but soon we'll be getting to levels with steel. So it shouldn't be too bad then. Let's lower this and that. 17% stress in the beginning. And ladies and gentlemen, that looks a lot better. 36% stress was just an arch of muscles over a regular arch. So we're already seeing designs I've never dabbled with before. This is pretty cool. Yeah, but anyways, let's move on. Next is a bridge with steel. So I feel pretty good about this. Like we can just do crazy steel up top and not have to worry about a single thing. Like I imagine it should just be this easy because we have 8% stress right now. Yeah. Good God. 40% I just kind of chose arbitrarily because I thought 50% would be too easy. But I imagine as we go on, 40% is going to be a real, real challenge. Ah, yes, this bridge. It's so funny loading all these up and seeing my super budgeted bridges. And really, all I need to do is just end up exchanging wood for steel. Perfect. This looks pretty sturdy. Let's run it. Damn, this hardly had any stress at all. Steel is OP if you want to make safe bridges. People have brought up in the past about an idea for a game mode where it's like lowest stress under budget. And what I'm doing is kind of a proof of concept. 
I'm playing it out just to see how much people enjoy watching it, and I also want to see how much fun it is going for it. I'm not necessarily going for the lowest stress I can possibly do under budget, but I'm trying to go under a threshold, which is a similar enough challenge. And I have actually talked to the devs about that before, and I have gotten a big fat no from them, and they've given sound reasoning. Uh, and the reasoning boiled down to, it just sounds way more fun to do than it actually is. But I've been having a good time with this so far. I hope that doesn't change. So I still got to build smart little arches here. Barely snagging the stars because we don't need, want to have extra stuff going on. Uh, do you think they'll hit? Yeah, they'll hit. And I've tried to do all steel before, and yeah, I was met with budget disasters. First thing I just want to see is if this does happen to be under stress. Okay, yes. We do have some room to work with. We just gotta shave money now. Oh, but we're only barely below 40%. Interesting. The middle stuff is not very stressed, so I'm gonna try these being woods to see what happens here. All right, that looks clean, and we're very close now, so I should see it happening. 39% stress. I didn't see a 39 in game, but okay. It seems like the, it's also difficult to calculate the stress, because, I mean, we, we were all watching the stress thing on the bottom. We saw maybe 35%, but then at the end, it's like, surprise, 39%. So I could see that being a real problem for trying to place well on the lowest stress under budget leaderboard. I have to say, I think it's probably best that this stays as a just self-imposed challenge rather than an actual game mode. Because I'm starting to realize how finicky it actually could be to grind for that. Maybe I could just lower this. Like that. I mean, maybe it's fine. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. All right, didn't need to do anything too crazy, just needed to change it up. Next level. Oh, that's right, the kinetic bridge level. Good news is this one has steel, so it's insanely easy to do. So we can just do a little overroad and then support it with uh, steel and we're good because this is a super light vehicle. And this should prob- oh, that actually does get stressed. Oh, well, that's funny. Let's do something like this then. There we go. That was pretty odd. If you set the stress meter to show the highest stress that is reached, so it won't fluctuate so much, but only go up. That would be an interesting way to be able to measure it, but it might make things more difficult. So I've also found, like, look at this. I got 15% stress on this. So imagine going for the top of the leaderboard of least stress under budget for this. Everything is so green and it's not going to change much. Imagine trying to optimize this. Like you would have to... I mean, you don't have that much feedback to work with. What piece was the most stressed? I don't know. I don't think any of you can tell me. I have no idea. That might make it actually difficult to try to optimize. You might just have to go on intuition and engineering ability for that. But whatever. Um, for this challenge, it is still working very well. Also might be a problem for colorblind people. Well, there is a color colorblind stress option where it can be in shades of gray. That being said, it's still going to be difficult to determine minute stress amounts. So another bridge with steel. We're going to be seeing this design here a lot with the steel on top and wood in the middle. It's just efficient. Up uh, this classic level. This one actually might be challenging. No steel, but we do have cable at least. I think I'm still going to go for the classic truss strat and then do cables to hold on. But I could see the wood itself getting very stressed. So I might have to go for a tension design. Yeah, the wood itself gets very stressed. I'm not even going to run it all the way through. I don't know. This one could be really challenging, though. Maybe I might do a design where it goes up a bit and just drops the freaking fire truck off. We don't care how much stress is exerted on the cars, just as long as our bridge is fine. So let's, let's try that. If the stress is too high, simply tell the bridge to relax. All right, let's try this. All right, it's still pretty stressed. All right, this try is not working out well at all. Is it even going to, like, make it? All right, it is going to make it without breaking anything. But it doesn't matter. The stress is still there and very high. All right, so new strategy. I probably should do tension bridge. Here's what I'm thinking right now. I want cables going to here and here for both. And then what I'm going to do is a bunch of cables underneath like so. We might have to ex uh, change the rope soon. Yeah, we're going to have to change the rope. But I want to see if this concept works. Where it's a combination of under and over cable designs. 11% stress starting off. So that's a good sign. Oh, it actually still gets very stressed in the middle. It actually still broke 40, but that was a lot better. 
43% stress. So it didn't look like to me like much of the stress was up here, but I might be mistaken. I saw a stress actually in the very middle right here. So I want to see what happens now. 14%. Alright, this road got pretty stressed. For, and it didn't actually get that much more stress. So this one, and then I assume probably this one. And then on the sides, I think it'd be rope. Because this covers such a shorter distance. So let's try this. 15%. I saw it hit 40. It actually looks like the ropes themselves do get pretty stressed. So 45% stress under budget. Not bad. So let me try something similar, but a little different. So rope that goes to here and here for a lot of separate sections of this. And I'm going to do a bunch of this sort of thing. A lot of separate tension areas. 14%. All right, so roads still get stressed, but we have money to work with this time. So we're at 46% but with money to work with. So it really seems like roads are getting the worst of it. What if I instead maybe just add another rope like here and I'm over budget. Does this even help? Actually, it looks like it does. Interesting. 42% stress. You know, I could see this working out. Let me raise this up to save a little bit of money in the meantime. And then if these become cables, how does it fare? Ignoring budget, of course. All right, if this isn't under 40%, I'm going to have some questions. What the fuck? Question number one. All right, let's... um. Change this up then, then. Let's do a rope going to here and a rope going to here on both sides. And then we'll have to copy paste this a ton. So 10% stress, a lot more cables. So we're hoping to distribute the stress over a larger area. Oh, that looks so good. Please be under 40. No, it's so close. Ah, what is the most stressed thing? That looks so good. Maybe it's something in the middle here. Let me try to save money in a weird place. I noticed the edges don't get that stressed. So I want to save money there to try to make my life easier in the future. Or that just somehow lowers the stress even by 0.1%. All right, so we're doing two things here. I guess it maybe affects the weight distribution in some way. It has a really weird butterfly effect with that. Let's try this one here. That looks worse. It was better. Wait, that counts. 40% stress is good enough. So, what am I going to do to try to get less than 1% under? Like, I think it's either this rope, this rope, or this rope. So, the only realistic thing I can do is just add another rope, but... Oh, that's on budget. Well, let's just try adding one more random rope, see if that helps at all. I mean, I saved money for a reason, right? That makes it worse! Hold on. Yeah, actually, experiment time. We make all of them cable and see if anything happens. Maybe it's just none of them. Maybe it's like a road. Nope, it's one of them, alright. It's kind of all of them. Um, it technically might be two of them now. Um, you know, that's, I think that's justification to leave this as a rope enough. So this is what we're working with. This is under the stress, but we're no longer under budget. Over budget is realistic. True. That's not the challenge I set for myself. Um, then something else I want to find out. If these are all ropes, how bad? Oh, wait a second. Maybe it doesn't get too bad. Oh, hold on. That is really, really, really good. Hold on. Two ropes here instead of a cable. Wait a second. Eliminate all the under portions except for areas that save money. And with a thousand to spare, we get under budget or under stress budget. Hey, more cables there. Hold on. Let me see if what happens if I get rid of this for a final rope. Does this get less stressed or is this just as normal? Yeah, the ropes add zero weight. I figured the ropes would be a no-go because of budget, but it turns out you can still have a bit on the side. Like if you had everything be held up by ropes, you wouldn't have the money for it, but... With a little bit of extra tension, it's pretty clean. All right, so I have determined that budget cuts is probably impossible. I would love to see anyone try. So I think with that in mind, I'm just going to go on to the next level.